Hey guys, what's going on? It's Yaz, and today I want to share with you some more empties. So in my last two videos, I was sort of sharing with you empties that I had accumulated for the past three months or so, and um, I'm still going through some of those empties with you in this video, as well as maybe one or two things that I've added recently that I've c completed, as well as um, I think there, there might be a few fails in here as well. So things that I didn't use up because they just completely failed for me. They just weren't um, the quality that I was expecting, they, they just weren't of the quality that I was expecting, or they just didn't work well for my skin, what have you. Um, so you'll probably see a couple of those in here as well. So uh, I still have quite a bit of empties to go through, so let's get started. So in my last empties, I didn't realize I had thrown out um, this as well. In my last empties, I had a gold nail polish, which was part of this kit right here. And this I got at like CVS, so what? And this I got either like CVS or Walgreens, I don't remember. It's called Rock Beauty. It's called Nail Rock Nail Caviar. And as you can see, it has these little beads, um, which I've tried doing. It's like a 3D manicure effect. I've tried doing this. I would never do it on all my nails, by the way. It's pretty messy. Um, I just wasn't crazy about it. So it kind of tells you here how to do it. It had a gold nail polish. I don't remember if there was a clear nail polish, but um, these were the beads that came with it. And they look really pretty in the packaging, and I was completely sold um, by the beads and the packaging and you know the effect that I wanted to try to create on my nails but uh, it, it's just way too much and a pain, a true pain to get off so this is just something I wouldn't use quite often I have a lot of it but for me it's a fail because I'm just not going to use it next up is another sort of fail product um, or partial fail anyway this is the Flower Beauty Ready Set Glow Blush Bronzer Duo in Shimmering Goddess and it's from the Flower Beauty line that's sold at Walmart. And this is, um, what's her name? Drew Barrymore's line. And I thought I was going to love the blush. I pretty much picked it up for the blush. And the fact that out of all the bronzers that they had in their little duos, this is the one that I felt was dark enough for my skin tone. And I use the bronzer a lot. You can't really tell, but there is quite a divot in there. I use it as my pretty much as my everyday sort of bronzer contour. Um, but the blush, I'm just, I'm not crazy about it. It's very pigment it so you have to be extremely careful but you know there are a lot of high-end sort of blushes out there that are extremely pigmented but you can sort of make it work with your skin this is the kind of like I almost feel like almost like some of the wet and wild I think icon blushes that they're extremely pigmented but too pigmented and very hard to blend so kind of like a cheaply made pigmented product um, and, and the longevity, I don't think, is quite there as well. I don't feel like at the end of the day, I'm still rocking this beautiful blush on my face. Um, so I'm going to, so I think I'm going to deep pot the bronzer, though, because like I said, I really do like it and I use it on a daily basis. But the blush is definitely going to go um, in the trash. I don't, I don't like it. Next up is a lotion, a body lotion, and this is from Lubriderm. And this is their Daily Moisture Lotion for Normal to Dry Skin. Um, and especially this time of year, I need all of the moisturizing lotions I can get my hands on. I used to use I used to use Lubriderm way back in the day when I was much much younger. Um, I have really dry elbows and knees. I had caught some sort of like skin virus once when I went to um, Venezuela, something in the water, and it made my elbows and my knees, especially my elbows, more than anything, extremely dry. As a young girl, I remember using uh, a lotion that my doctor had prescribed to me. And it's not as bad anymore. It's definitely gotten better. Um, probably just because as I've gotten older, I've just had better sort of hygiene and I take better care of my body overall. And so I can use just like regular body lotions to keep me hydrated and keep the skin soft. And I do exfoliation and all that stuff to kind of keep my, my skin looking better. Um, I really like this. I, like I said, I used to use this way back in the day. I'm more now um, a user as far as like an everyday body lotion. For me, it's the like Amlactin. I love that. And oh, is it the Eucerin? Um, but Lubriderm is also another one that I, I feel like I like to rotate. Just because I, I feel like once I finish a bottle of something, I want to try a different one. Maybe not necessarily something brand new to me, but something that I know that works. And so it'll be Eucerin, Lubriderm, it'll be Amlactin, whatever it is, I'll rotate it. I'm also, I just started using, not just recently, I've had it for a while, but I started using it more frequently. One of the Aveeno body lotions. I can't remember which one it is, but I like those as well. So I just like to rotate, and I like my body lotion to be really basic. Just moisturizing. I don't really need it to have any sort of smelly scent. That's what I like my perfume for. So I like these type of lotions for like everyday use. Next up, 
Um, actually, I had shown this in my previous empties, but these are really great products, so I'm going to share them with you again. So I'm going to share it with you again. And this is from Nexus. This is their emergency reconstructing treatment. You get four of these little tubes in a packet, and I believe the packet sells for about $25, maybe $23, $25. Um, you can get it at, I think, Harmons and most beauty supplies, most um, drug stores and probably beauty, su beauty supply stores. I think I get mine usually at Ulta. I like to rack up my points at Ulta and I can use coupons and all sorts of other discounts. Um, so these are a great product. If you have extremely dehydrated or dry and brittle hair, using this will really bring it back to a place where you feel you can um, bring it back to a place where it looks healthy and vibrant. Um, I shampoo my hair usually with a clarifying shampoo. I'll go in with this, um, I'll leave it on for about 5 minutes in the shower, I'll, I'll wash it out with some shampoo, usually a more gentler shampoo, I don't like to go in twice with a clarifying shampoo, so usually with a normal like moisturizing shampoo, and then I'll go in with my conditioner, and my hair just instantly feels amazing. My hair now at this length, I can get about 3 uses out of this tube, when it's much longer at my like, I guess normal length, I usually get 1, maybe 2 uses out of the tube. Um, so, you know, for $25 for four of these little tubes, you actually do get quite a bit of product and quite a bit of a product that actually does work. So I definitely recommend these. Definitely want to share with, um, share this with you again because I think it's a really great product. Next is an eye primer. This is my Too Faced Shadow Insurance. I love this eye primer. This has been my, like, ride or die go-to for I don't know how many years. And I'm going to show you the bag. This is what I like to do with a lot of my products. I will sort of indicate every so, like, couple of months, once a season or whatever. Um, sort of where I'm at as far as product is concerned just because I, I can never really tell how long it takes me to use something and a lot of times I'm like oh I want to try that oh I want to try that other eye primer and I want to try this eye primer and I'll buy all three eye primers and then they're just sitting around because I'm thinking in my head oh, I'll get through it pretty quickly well not really um, and also I like to sort of know like when I start I started doing it now like when I actually open a product so I know how long I've had it so that I know if it's expired or not because I think this is good for like for example this is good for a year 12 months I started sort of um, marking it here, that's June of this past year, of 2015. So I probably was using it at that point, probably at least a year. I'm pretty sure I had this for about a year. So in the last six months, because I was using this every single day, I was able to use it up completely. Um, it's always able, able to keep better track. If I had still had this around by next June, I probably would have tossed it out because I, I knew at least, at the very least at that point, I've had it for at least a year. But I, I honestly feel like I've had this for two years. But it didn't go bad on me. It didn't smell bad. The consistency didn't change on me. The product didn't stop working. It didn't make me itchy or irritate my skin or any of those sort of signs that you start to get when a product is starting to go bad. I had none of that with this. I really, really like it. It lasts, as you can tell, a really long time and I totally recommend it. I have been going through my nail polish collection in the last like three or four months. So I have so many nail polishes in each one of these videos. But of course, I have some more nail polishes here for you today. This one's from Sinful Shine. And this one's in the color Mardi Gras. And this one is also for Sinful Shine in the color Picante. And these are just like, I think you can get these at like CVS, I think. Usually for about, I think I think they're about $2, like $1.99, something like that. So they're really cheap and they have tons of colors, which is why I sort of was gravitate, why I sort of gravitated to these. But I don't like the consistency. I don't feel like they wear very long. I don't feel like they dry. Um down the way I would want them to dry and they chip and all sorts of stuff. I'm not crazy about the, the formula of these um, at all. But, um, you know, I had wanted to pick up a bunch of these. I tried them out. I recently decided I don't really like them, so I'm not going to use them. So I'm just going to toss them. These were fails. They're not used up, but they're fails for me. Now, these are some of my favorite things to use on my face. These are the Biore face strips. And I go back and forth between these. Um, I can't remember the name of the brand. It has a bunch of numbers in it. I get it from Ulta and the Biore ones. So these are the face strips. So you can use these on your chin, on your forehead, on maybe like the side of your, like your bottom, on, on top of your jaw if you get like breakouts in those areas. And it takes all that gunk out of your skin. I love it for that. Um, it's quite entertaining to see your results afterwards. I love those. This is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation sample. I think the color was Y425. Um, I, I'm not sure about this foundation just yet. I'm not completely sold. I love my HD. I love my Makeup Forever HD, the original formula. Love that. I should have probably picked up a backup when I found out that they were going to change the formula, but 
I did it so I'm hoping that I can find a, a color that suits me very well and that it still sort of works for me because I love that foundation that foundation for me is like my go-to when I want to look really beautiful and flawless like that is my go-to foundation um, this color wasn't quite my color I think I needed something it was a little too light even for me now in the winter it was a little too light so I use this with other ones and I kind of use it just to kind of see how it works for me but it's much too light this is a sample of the Jerleek Skin Balancing Face Oil. It is a deeply moisturizing oil treatment. I just wanted to give this a try. I don't tend to use too many oils on my face. I have oily skin. In the winter, I'm a little bit more combination and sort of dry in certain spots. So I tried this over the course of a couple of nights just to kind of give it a try and see if it worked for me or if it was going to break me out or what. I don't think it broke me out. Again, I probably used a very small amount of this every single night because I was afraid of breaking out. Um, it was okay. I don't think I'd purchase it. This is the Boots Botanics Hydrating Eye Cream with Protective Ginkgo and I, I liked it. It was a pretty good sort of like everyday eye cream. It was moisturizing enough but not overly. Like my under eyes are super super dry and I'm currently on the hunt for an extremely anti-aging and moisturizing eye cream. I need that. Um, my fine lines have started to appear and sort of started to deepen a bit and I need to sort of try to get ahead of that as much as I possibly can but they, they also look dry and I don't like the way it looks dry even if I didn't have those fine lines I would still be bothered by the fact that my under eye skin just looks so so dry so if you have really dry under eyes and you have an amazing recommendations for um, a really good under eye cream let me know because I go to like the Sephora website and the Ulta website and I'll read tons of reviews and then I have a list of like 25 eye creams that I want to try and one I don't have the money for all that and two I don't have the time to try 25 eye creams so I wanted to sort of try the best of the best really sort of find one that really works for me all seasons of the year um, but this was okay for like a drugstore sort of eye cream and some more nail polishes this one's from elf I've had this one probably at least three or four years uh, this one's a nice mint color and the, this, the name of the color is mint cream um, I just I'm not a fan of it anymore I don't think these last too long as far as um, like shelf life I feel like it's definitely changed the consistency of it has and I'm just not crazy about it anymore so I'm getting rid of it this nail polish is from confetti which I think oh actually there's a price tag on there so this is from CVS I purchased this for $1.99 this is in the color fruit smoothie which is a really pretty color um, again I'm just not crazy about the consistency I finally have come to terms that really for the most part there are no really cheap nail polishes that I really like the consistency and like longevity. I just, I don't like them. So I'm just going to stop trying to buy those. Um, there are very few, I feel like, nail polishes from the drugstore that I feel like I really, really like. So I'm going to try to stick to those. This is uh, from Beauty Without Cruelty. And this is their Premia Aromatherapy Leave-In Conditioner. And it benefits all hair types. I believe I got this like in an Ipsy bag. Um, and it's not a bad leave-in conditioner. I just feel like it's not enough for my hair. My hair is very dry and curly and sometimes kind of coarse and kinky. So I need something that's really, really good for my hair. And this just wasn't it. So there's about half to probably three-fourths of the container left in here. So I'm probably going to give it to my mom and see if she wants to at least give it a try and see if she likes it. I mean, I love that it is a cruelty-free brand. They say they have been cruelty-free since 1963. So that's great to know. I love trying to find products that are cruelty-free. So I do feel bad about testing like on animals. That's, that's just horrible. But I'm not a stickler for it. So when I come across something that I really, really like and it happens to be cruelty-free, I tend to be very loyal to that. So um, unfortunately, this didn't work for me, but maybe my mom will like it. And this is another e.l.f. nail polish. This one's in the color Fire Coral. Again, another one that I've had for a few years, and so now I feel like the consistency just isn't quite there for me anymore. It's a beautiful color, but I just don't want to use it anymore. Another one of these uh, Nexus Emergency Treatments. This is a blush from Wet n Wild. I recently started going through, um, I recently went through some of my blushes. Oh, I recently went through my blush collection again, even though I earlier in the year had, um, earlier last year, I had sort of decluttered all areas of my makeup collection. And I felt like I still had too many blushes. I don't use all these blushes. And so this is another one that's going to go. It just doesn't work for me. I Again, it's like the Flower Beauty one. It's extremely pigmented, but I feel like the quality just isn't there. It's cheap and it's extremely pigmented, but it just lacks all the other qualities that I look for in a blush. Like, I want something that's pigmented that's going to last throughout the day that isn't going to disappear on my skin. Um, and that is pigmented, 
but easy to blend and this just really isn't like you're gonna have clown face if you're not extremely careful with this so it's gonna go this is another hair treatment this was from Pantene expert I don't remember the name of like the product itself but this is what the little tube looks like I believe the packaging came with five of these maybe maybe six of these and it's much cheaper than the Nexus one it doesn't work quite as well I didn't like this as much as the Nexus it was okay um, if you're really on a budget maybe you can use this but I feel like I will use one of these every you know every time I go in for a treatment I will use one of these and the Nexus I I got a couple of uses out of a tube so I feel like even though it's a little bit more expensive I feel like it's even a better buy because of how much how many uses I can get out of a tube so this just I wouldn't recommend it um, I have two more samples of the Makeup Forever HD this one I had gotten with a purchase you know you put the code in you pick a shade and according to the color IQ at Sephora this was my color this is Y375 this is also a sample of Y375 I thought I needed this color I didn't realize I had had it already um, it's just way too light like that four I think it was something 25 I think it was 425 or 325 whatever it was it was much too light and this one's still uh, much too light so I just I couldn't use it next up I have a nail polish from NYC this is their long wearing nail enamel in the color 116 Broadway burgundy and these used to be some of my favorite like drugstore cheap nail polishes these dry really really fast I don't feel like they I kind of feel like they lack as far as um, longevity where they sort of start to chip pretty quickly but these are really fast drying if I'm ever in a predicament where I need to hurry up and get ready and I need to do my nails and rush out the door this is something I would go for without a base coat without a top coat and wear it like just for the day or just for the event because I'm in a rush this is definitely a go-to I've just had this one sitting around for a really long time and I you know I tried it out and I applied it one day and just the formula has changed so I'm getting rid of it but overall I would recommend these um, nail polishes from NYC these are samples probably from Sephora this is the Laneige water sleeping mask I thought it was okay I don't think I I'm intrigued enough to purchase the full size but it was nice to try this is the Corez Greek yogurt foaming cream cleanser and it's supposed to be for all skin types and I did kind of like it but I love the cleansers that I currently use I use I love my um, Pericone MD cleanser and my purity cleanser so I'm not really in the market for another cleanser another nail polish well actually two more nail polishes and I think these are the last ones uh, another one from sinful colors this one's in the color San Francisco and it's a beautiful sort of shimmery right it's shimmery yeah shimmery green color um, the formula it just it gets me every time I'm, I'm never gonna purchase probably another one of these I just don't like them but since they come in so many colors like I want to try them you know and this one's from the Fergie line of wet and wild and this one's in the color make them boys go loco and this is a beautiful sort of red I think the base of it is a black nail polish color but then it has tons of red glitter bigger chunks of glitter smaller chunks of glitter so it's really pretty but I feel like um it's not as chunky as I would like for it to be it's a little bit too liquidy and I'm just uh, not a huge fan of it this is a small like travel friendly size of the Smashbacks Smashbacks? of the Smashbox Camera Ready BB Cream this one's in the color light medium I got this in the kit it brought this uh, I can't remember I think two other products from Smashbox and they didn't so they didn't have all the colors available and I wanted to try this this was before I bought like I've since purchased my full size one um, so this was before I had purchased it because I had wanted to try this out first I like this BB cream for an everyday thing I pretty much use this BB cream almost like on an everyday basis like on the weekends this is what I use I tend to give my break my break I tend to give my face a break from foundation on the weekends and this is what I tend to go to um, I think it's great it doesn't make me super oily which is definitely something I look for um, I've never been a huge fan of like tinted moisturizers because I feel like they're a little too liquidy and with my combination skin I feel like they definitely break very quickly um, and they just make me look really greasy this though I feel like it's good it's perfect I could wear this for a couple hours and run around and I feel like I'm getting to be like a really oily mess um, I normally will top it off with a little bit of a powder foundation or setting powder but um, that just helps to prolong the wear of it for me I feel like even if I didn't and I just ran out for a few hours to you know run errands do this that and the other thing I would be okay even if I didn't powder it I just like the way I guess because I'm so used to powdering now because I wear foundation 
like every day to go to work. I'm just used to it. I just don't like the feel of this without uh, a powder because I almost feel like it doesn't feel tacky but it just doesn't feel set. And so I like it to feel set so that if I go and I touch my face I don't feel like I'm going to wipe any product off. Um, but this is a great BB cream. I know a lot of people like it. Um, so for now it's sort of my go-to. This is the Makeup Academy Sugar Lip Scrub. And I will use this in the morning um, before brushing my teeth to sort of exfoliate any dead skin around my lips. Um, it was okay. I, I am actually now using the e.l.f. lip scrub that comes in like the lipstick tube. And I love that. It's so easy and it's gentle but rough enough. And I feel like it's really helped my condition my lips now with this winter and this winter weather. So it's a really good one. I prefer that one much more over than... I prefer the e.l.f. one over this one. I'm not sure how much I paid for it. I want to say it was about, I believe it was less than $10, but probably more than 5 And the e.l.f. one is, is relatively cheap, and I feel like it's just so much easier, so much more convenient, and I feel like a better quality product, so um, I wouldn't go back and purchase this. Last product I'm going to share with you today is a lip liner, and this is from Milani, and I believe the color is Fuchsia. It's number 08. I've sharpened it to the point where I can't really see the name except the I and the A from the last two letters of the name. So I'm pretty sure it's fuchsia. And it is a really pretty fuchsia color. Um, I still have some left. So you can see that there. It is a beautiful fuchsia color. And I love these Milani um, lip liners. They're really, really good. I'm not a huge fan of lip liners that you have to sharpen. Most of my lip liners are the retractable kind because that's what I like. Um, I have very few of these, and this is just a really good one. Um, you can wear it alone because it's such a beautiful color, but I, you know, use it under. I use it as I've used it alone. I've used it as a base, a similarly colored lipstick, and I've used it under a um, a lip gloss of various different types of colors: clear lip gloss, a darker like berry lip gloss. Um, a lip gloss that's maybe a little pinker like this lip liner is and I love it. These I definitely recommend. I believe they're about $5 at the drugstore so a really good price point. They're creamy. They don't tug. I don't feel like they dry out my lips. They don't sort of um, smear around and they don't skip on my lips or anything like that. Um, so these are really good. I definitely recommend them. Okay everyone, so that is it. Those are the empties that I wanted to share with you today. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you have any comments or questions or anything that you want to share with me, please leave that down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Thanks again for watching. I hope you had a great day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.